What happens when you throw head crabs, crowbars, and advanced physics puzzles into a dystopian cityscape? If the first thing that comes to mind is Half-Life 2, you're only half right. Boneworks by developer Stress Level Zero is a clear homage to that and several other Valve classics. And while its mechanical ideas and atmosphere aren't the most original, Boneworks' best physics-driven moments manage to make VR feel more tangible than any other action-adventure game to date. Physics-based arena games like Blade and Sorcery and Gorn have been a favorite of VR enthusiasts for years now, but Boneworks is the first VR game to take the idea of giving you a variety of objects, each with their own distinctively modeled weight and heft, and then use those as the components for solving single-player puzzles and combat. This campaign clocks in at around 7 to 9 hours, depending on your skill with its wide range of tricky physics puzzles, predictable but satisfying combat encounters, and springy movement systems. Boneworks takes you through the motions of a campaign that stylistically resembles both Half-Life and Portal, occasionally sprinkling an added helping of Doom-style backtracking and keycard collection for good measure. But while it works fine, it only really succeeds at conjuring a washed-out memory of what those games were like in their prime. At best, Boneworks has something of an antiplot. It strings itself together on style and clever physics puzzles, but fails to say much about its own world or lore. The convenient fact that it takes place in a virtual virtual world is a tolerable gimmick for explaining why Boneworks gets away with inconsistent art direction and letting you break the level design by losing important items, but it doesn't do much for world building. In fact, if you leave or need to restart, you're forced to go back to the very beginning, which is pretty frustrating. On the bright side, there aren't a lot of characters to talk to or exposition dumps to slow your voiceless protagonist down. The main interaction comes from your real-world friend, played competently by YouTuber Mike Diva. He makes a few guest appearances to ramble about void generators and something about the nebulous megacorporation that created Mythos tracking you down in the real world, but none of that ever translates to gameplay. For the most part, Mythos feels as lifeless as the robo-head crabs that plague its digital corridors, and the lack of a meaningful story made Boneworks feel a little hollow. What Boneworks does have in droves is easter eggs and unlockables. There are so many secret toys and weapons that you can accidentally trip over them if you aren't paying attention. Stumble into a nondescript nook and uncover a key that opens a secret room, or go searching through some drawers to produce some strangely titled books. One such cool unlockable is the sandbox mode, which puts the items you collect during the campaign to good use by letting you build any crazy Rube Goldberg style death trap you can imagine. It feels a little light at first, but it's the kind of thing that you could spend hours tinkering in once you've fleshed out your arsenal of toys. The infinitely replayed arena mode is equally fun and provides a heap of clever new customizable challenges to beat in a variety of ways. In all of the modes, your own creativity is what makes the real fun happen in Boneworks. Some objects feel unintuitive and awkward to handle when your real-world motions don't quite match up with their simulated weight, but they often interact in interesting and unforeseen ways. One example, the balloon gun lets you do this to enemies. <laughs> The main issue of everything being physically simulated, including your own body, is that it's often possible for your virtual arms or legs to get snagged on various objects. The climbing mechanic is the most disappointing part of the package here. It's difficult to approximate where the next rung of a ladder will be once your virtual body stops bobbing up and down in response to the simulated shift of weight. On top of that, entire sections of the campaign force you to climb up structures or fiddle with weighted objects with your real-life hands, all while your virtual body continues moving on its own. You can get used to making this work in the virtual world with practice, but because there's no tele teleportation movement option whatsoever, this can make Boneworks downright unplayable if you struggle with VR motion sickness. Luckily, the flow of gameplay in Boneworks is fantastic when it's at its best, and it certainly pushes VR to the edge in some ways. Vaulting through Mythos with a physical body that reacts to everything around it is exactly as engaging as you'd imagine it to be once you get the hang of it. And if you can think of a solution to a given problem or combat encounter, you can probably pull it off. Another early segment has you facing down a stationary turret with no clear way past it. You're called on to invent your own solution here. Do you use a trash can lid to shield yourself while you rush the turret, pick up and place crates onto one another to create an impromptu step stool over some nearby fencing, or something else? It's full of possibilities. There are some limitations here and there, and the physics systems do sometimes become a pain when the solution to a problem is more obvious than the sheer logistics of making your virtual body do what you need it to do, but it's surprising how much flexibility Boneworks affords in problem solving overall. There's some meat on these bones. Boneworks' full-length campaign, arena, and sandbox modes offer a fleshed-out variety of interesting and entertaining physics-powered things to do. It works best when you get into character and let yourself pantomime each swing, grab, and throw with intention. There's plenty to be desired in terms of story, level design, and even the physics simulations that it so heavily leans on, but Boneworks is awesomely interactive, engaging, and has tons of replayability potential. For more VR, check out our reviews of Stormland and Pistol Whip, and our breakdown of the Half-Life Alex reveal trailer. And for everything else, stick with us right here at IGN.